Good day students, today we want to discuss on how to use micrometer screw gauge to make some measurements you can see that for accuracy, for accurate measurements of still small lengths to make use of that, such as the diameter of a wire, the diameter of a small ball, a pendulum ball as you see, some object like a pendulum ball or the thickness of a piece of paper the use of micrometer screw gauge is being carried out. We use the micrometer screw gauge to do that. It can measure to an accuracy of 0.001 centimeter or 0.01 millimeter. Like the vernier calipers, the micrometer screw gauge has a main scale, which is the main scale, and the vernier scale. You can see the vernier scale. Uh, scale. The main scale is graduated in millimeters. Again, millimeters. The circular vernier scale consists of 50 equal division. When you turn it, 50 equal division. When the screw head, the screw head, carrying the vernier, the circular vernier scale is turned round once, it moves a distance of. 0.5 millimeter. When you turn it once, it moves a distance of 0.5 inside. 0.5 millimeters along the main scale. We are trying to get the measurements of the ball. Thus, one division on the vernier scale equals 0.5 divided by the fifth when it moves round or 0.01 millimeters on the base scale. What you are saying is that when you look at this, you have five, six, seven, and this is 0.5, 0.5. At that point, well, let me say that no, this line is not there, it will be seven millimeters. But since you have this line dividing, into two equal half, it will be when you count it zero, we zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now seven millimeters plus the division that divides us from down the line that divides. Let me assume that there's no this line here, it will just be ordinary seven. But since you have that division, you have zero point five millimeters. Now come to the to the vernier scale you have 20 21 22 24 25 26 27 28 this 28 mark coincide with this line with this line coincide with this line that's the reading at that point at that point you now have the vernier scale reading scale reading which is and Scale coincidence. Coincidence. S scale coincidence. This is S scale coincidence with this line. To coincide. They are, they are the same on the same straight line. Coincidence times the lowest counts. Lowest count. L stand L C stands for lowest count. And is in zero point you can see zero point five divided by fifty also zero point zero one millimeters. Now L count L count is twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, which is twenty eight uh, twenty eight millimeters times zero point zero one millimeter twenty times zero point zero one millimeters. When you do that, you have 0 0.28 millimeters. How do you get that? Come to this side, 1 divided by 100 times 28. When you divide it, you have that's 28 divided by 100. Plus put 28 here. 100, 100 goes here, that's 0 point, that's 2. That's 200 goes 
add the zero and that's eight. Zero point two eight millimeters, which gives us this. We now have this one is for the main scale. Main scale. Main scale. Because there is which is equals to seven plus zero point five as seven point five millimeters. We now have observed reading. Observed reading. Observed reading equals observed reading equals main scale. Main scale plus vernier scale reading, which is equals to which is equals our main scale. 7.5 millimeters plus 0 0.28 0 0.28 millimeters which is equal to 7.5 plus 0 0.28 millimeters we have 7.78 millimeters 7.78 millimeters. That is observed reading on the micrometer screw gauge. We are going to see several examples. The next one, we are going to uh, show how to solve the problem, how the question comes out often. We are going to see it in the following example. You have the main scale reading, main scale is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 5 millimeter plus, it's dividing it into, it's 1 millimeter divided by 2, that's 0 0.5, dividing it 0 0.5 millimeter for the main scale. And then uh, you have the lowest count. Lowest, also the lowest count. Because 0 0.01 millimeters. 0 0.01 millimeters. This K is graduated in millimeters. And uh, you have the edge, edge count coincidence. At scale coincidence, at scale, at scale coincidence. Or you can say at coincidence reading. At scale coincidence, which is. Uh, all the coincidence that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, head scale coincidence 25, 26, 27, 28, and uh, the venial scale observed reading, let's call the observed reading, observed reading equals main scale reading plus add counts add scale coincidence times lowest counts and this one will get it from the venial scale reading which is what the main scale and we have main scale 5 plus that's 5.5 millimeters plus x scale coincidence 28 multiplied by the lowest count 0 0.01 millimeters we do that we have it will be equals to 5.5 multiplied by 0 0.28 plus here 
two plates together again we limit it when you add that together you have 5.5 that is 0.28 you have 875 that is 5.78 millimeters and uh, your second one please observe it now the second one you have the main scale main scale really 0 1 2 you see that there is no division between this line and this that's why you have two millimeters there is nothing like 0.5 there is no line dividing this and uh, you have the lowest count also which is 0 0.01 and also scale ready scale coincidence scale coincidence is basic 40 is 40 41 40 40 40 45 46 46 now uh, observed ready observed ready because main scale Main scale will be and the main scale will be main scale will be main scale will be has two millimeters and then main scale will be plus x scale coincidence times lowest count. From there, you have main scale reading, which is 2 millimeters plus scale incident, 46 multiplied 0 0.01 millimeters. That would be 2 millimeters plus 0 0.46 millimeters. And you have uh, 2.46 millimeters. Okay, take note inside at 6. This is the end of our class. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can have access to the latest video. Have a wonderful day.